We're going to go straight into the first one now. So let's call up the man who put the M in microchip, the Games Master. Welcome. So you've returned once more to pit your skills against one of my little challenges. I must commend your audacity. The first of this week's jolly jaunts is on a fishy little game called Robocod. To satisfy me, you will need to get through the very first level in less than one minute, collecting 50,000 points in the process. You can amass these points by collecting bonus items from around the level and by jumping on villains. A little tip. Don't forget to use the hydraulic stretch body, which will enable you to get past spikes unharmed when there's not sufficient room to jump. 50,000 points in one minute. Seize the moment. And I think our audience here are looking a bit restless for some serious action. So what we'll do is throw out this challenge to them. If there's anybody out there who fancies taking on the guise of James Pawn Robocod, could they please thrust their arms into the air? Um, we'll try and pick three likely contestants. Who have we got? Oh, there's a, oh, there's a young man peeking around there. Yes, how about you for the first contestant? And now let's see, two more. Now, who have we got? Oh, yes, there's two girls together there. Yep, two girls together. Yes, those two girls together would like to come up as well. A round of applause for our three contestants. Mark Wright. Mark Wright, rock legend. Okay, and next we have? Julie Marlowe. Welcome again, Master Julie. And finally? Claire McNeeny. Okay then, Claire, I think we're going to have you playing first, okay? So if you'd like to trot up to our game playing seat. Now, Mark and Julie, if you'd like to go over to the organ and turn your backs to us, so you don't see what's happening when Claire's playing. If you'd like to sit there, and we'll come to your turn in due course. And keeping me warm and toasty in the pulpit is Games Master's resident boffin, Dave Perry. Dave, welcome. Hi, Dominic. Now, Dave, it's very tough, this. 50,000 points in 60 seconds. What's the best tip you can give them? Uh, well, the thing is, just to get used to the controls, uh, he's got a telescopic body in this one, um, which you can activate through the fire button. And when you're jumping on top of the bad guys, you've got to remember to pull down on the joystick so he disappears inside his armour. OK, let's hope our contestants bear that in mind. Claire, are you ready? Then your 60 seconds begin now. Okay, off we go. 60 seconds, 50,000 Straight back for that star. That's a, that's a fairly hidden star. She did well to find that straight away. That'll give us some extra energy and stop her getting killed quite so quickly. Oh, Ooh, she, there, she doesn't want to get stuck under there because those spikes will kill her. She wants to use the, tel the fire button, the telescopic body, grab hold of it and shinny across. Okay, now the ring a couple of objects there. What is that important? There's a few points there. She could have done with them, but she can still make, she can still make the 50,000 without those objects there. She's okay, good we're coming up for nearly halfway through the challenge and she's... Oh! So unfortunately, Claire's challenge has ended there. If she'd like to swap with Mark, we'll go on to our second competitor. Round of applause for Claire. <laughs> now, Dave, what can Mark learn from Claire? I think basically it's just use um, Robocall to, to his full extent. He's got lots of little tricks that he can use to get past obstacles. Okay, Mark, are you ready? Yeah. Then your 60 seconds begin now. Okay, so of course Mark's holding along, he's done that first leap success. He missed a little star that Claire found earlier. Okay, but he's, but got, he's got, look at all these points here, and he wants to use that telescopic body oh, that he's got to get across there. Fire button, fire button, Mark. Oh, That's okay. it, hang on. There okay, now he's walking across, across there. there. 12,100 points, 20 seconds gone, right. but his life's that pretty well. Pull down the fire. That's it, there we are. He's just stay on this platform now. Oh, when you made it, oh, when he's... Oh! Just walloped by the snake. Into the snake. Halfway through the time and halfway through the points, but Mark's challenge is over. Round of applause for Mark. Okay, now, now Dave. Julie's our final contestant. How can you help her with this game? Well, the pressure's off her a bit. She knows the other two haven't quite made the challenge. Um, she's still got to do it within the minute, but... You know, once again, just take your time and use that telescopic body. Okay then. Julie, are you ready? Yep. Then your 60 seconds begin now. Okay, Julie's made a good start. She's got the straight back to the start. I give her a bit of extra life. Just jump over these spikes. Okay, she's pausing. Oh, she's she's got to go in there, but you know. You know so she made up the energy with that star. Oh, that's right. She's, she's got the technique here. She's got the old marine shimmy across, across the gap. Okay, well, that's a quarter of the time gone, two thousand four hundred points. Got down on these lips. 
There she goes. That's it. Great. Get on that. She can sit on that platform. Oh, brilliant. Mind the snake. Oh, she's she got the furthest, through these furthest so far. Up under yes. Them. Yes. She wants to hit a few of these. Okay. She's going to jump, jump up. Jump up and hit them. That's it. A bit harder. That's it. Get that penguin. Oh, and then she's That's over it. half. She's only got 20 seconds left. She's, she's going to have the next one. Very, very quick. She's oh, got much bigger. She's only got 15 seconds oh, left. Yeah, get the trap. 27,000. She's got no, a Energy. The closest anyone's got, but Julie's challenge also ends in failure. Okay, now, bad luck, Paul, to you. It's Julie, you got the closest out of all three of our competitors. Dave and I thought you were going to do it. Just a little bit of trouble near the end there with a snake, I think. Yeah, it was a bit hard for me. Okay, but did you enjoy coming in and play? Yeah. Another round of applause then for our three contestants. Thank you.